everyone, we're Beck and Becca, and this is our 1991 Ford Shasta Motorhome. We currently have an Oops Mega 2 power bank that's powering the whole thing with a portable solar panel, but today that changes. And today we're gonna to be installing a permanent solar setup on our roof, so, so let's, let's go. go. We already have a 30 foot solar extension cord that goes from the outside. We'll be able to run it up to the roof to the inside where it plugs right into our power bank. We have our mounting brackets, our solar cord splitter so we can plug it into all four solar panels on the roof today. Ooh, that is pretty cool. Look at these. Before we set them up, let's test them first. Right. So let's just have them sit in the sun like the portable one. Okay. See what they pump into the power bank inside. All right, let's do it. Here's the wires that we already have. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out, take them over to our new solar panels to test them and make sure that they even send energy bolts to the power bank. All right, let's go inside and see what it's doing. Laying flat, we're getting about 60 to 65 watts. With all the panels hooked up, on average, we'll probably be getting 200, 240 watts total. This one works. We're gonna go ahead and test the other ones. They all work. Let's get them installed. So now we're going to test out our splitters to see if we can connect all of them and then they all work simultaneously. So as you can see, this is how the splitter's working right now. We got the two wires going from the solar panel to then match into this here. And then we got three of them hooked up so far, so we just need to get the last one hooked up. Boom! Now let's lay them flat, make sure there's no shade. Let's go see if the splitters are working and see what kind of energy we're getting. Sticking around 220. That's awesome. All right, very nice. After testing all the solar panels with the split cord, it successfully got to 220, so it works perfectly, and now it's time to install it. I'm just washing the roof up here. Oh! I thought you were gonna catch it. <laughs> you didn't say to catch it. You were ready. <laughs> you suck. All right, we've got all this roof here, but right up there is the most amount of space, so that's where we're gonna put the solar panels. Four solar panels up here. Let's run the wiring to make sure that works too. I've come to save the day. Hey, really? Thank you. Ooh, they look good. Don't they? They fit pretty good too. You still have more slack if you need it. All right, that looks to be it. They're all plugged in, all in position. Now in order to get these panels actually on the roof, of course, we need brackets. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the brackets to each of the solar panels before we go ahead and mount them and seal them to the roof. While Beck is installing the mounting brackets, I'm gonna go down and get side brackets so we can mount the wiring alongside the RV. Hey Sandy. Smaller brackets? Yeah. These are half inch. There you go. Thanks Sandy. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's go home. But before I leave, we gotta get some prime. I'm gonna get this one. And then Beck, I think he's gonna want red chill. Now we can go home. Now that the brackets are installed on all of the solar panels, it's time to mount it to the roof. But we can't do that without sealant. And we want to give a special thanks to Core RV for sponsoring our video and providing us with this heavy duty RV lap sealant. You can't do RV life without sealant, especially when installing solar panels. So we recommend Corey RV lap sealant and you can get yours by clicking the link in the description below. So let's get back to mounting these panels. got all of them mounted to the ceiling they're in there sturdy but now it's time to use our rv sealant to seal the deal uh quite literally as you can see 
got it all finished. Looking good. Best cop job ever. What Becca said, best cop job ever. <laughs> That's a risky one. As you can see, it's not professional by any means, but it's gonna be waterproof. That's what matters. It's gonna be waterproof. Protected a little extra in some spots, but that's okay. Corey also sells a self-leveling lap sealant that you can buy, which we're gonna go ahead and put that in the description. So if you're not as good at caulking as I am, clearly, you can use that to self-level. So we'll put both of those in the description. The sealant needs 24 hours to dry, so we're gonna go ahead and let it dry before we mount the rest of the cord. So we'll see you in 24 hours. We're back after 24 hours. Now let's see if it's dry. This seems to look pretty good. Oh yeah, that dried real nice. My job maybe wasn't the best, but this will definitely do its job. So shout out Corey RV. And now that all the panels are installed, it's just time to mount all the wiring. Get screwed down and sealed into place from the panels to the edge. Now we're gonna be able to start putting screws and brackets alongside the wall. For brackets, we're using this little strip of make your own. Ours are perfect to fit within three, but of course, you can do more. Let's get this mounted tight to the wall. We'd like to give another thanks to Corey RV for supplying the sealant. We couldn't have done it without you guys. If you have any questions or any feedback, make sure to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future renovation content.